What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Big MBKJ. We're here with Motion Eat Daily, and this is the MBKJ Show. And I'm here with my girl, Ari. Thank you so much. How you doing today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed today. I can't complain. So I want to know, like, how many interviews have you done so far? I've only done one other interview, which was, like, recently with Best Plan. Recently? How, how did that go? It was cool. Like, I know Best, so it was a comfortable. I like that, I like that. Have you been working with Best for like a minute? Yeah, like I, we've been tapped there. We wasn't working with each other, but like we just always fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. Fuck with each other, like, you know, business ethic, talent and shit. Yeah. Now I respect that, I respect that. So like, how have you like started like kind of getting into like music? Like what age did it start? Um, I feel like as a kid, as a child, music just like inspired me. To express myself. Okay, okay. And before I could even write, I was writing music. Before I could spell, I was writing music. So it's been a very long time since mm -hmm. I was like captured by it. I respect that. What were you like expressing about yourself? Um, you know, when you were a kid, you just first started learning how to cuss. You just mm -hmm. for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I was just going through shit, just cussing and saying mm -hmm. shit for no reason. But I'm sure back then it was pain music. But yeah. I feel that. Did you like keep it in your phone? Did you like write it down? A lot of it was written. I grew up writing it. Like mm -hmm. journals. I still got old journals from when I was like 10. Mm -hmm. Talking about shit. I'm like, yo, what am I talking about? <laughs> nah, I feel you. I, I feel you. Spell half of this shit. Like, what am I saying? Have you like. I remember seeing like some videos sometimes of like kids getting caught like a rap book by their parents. Have you ever had like a situation like that? <laughs> By the grace of God, not Lord. Thank God. You know, my mom, she never, mm -hmm. she never found that. Do you think you have some embarrassing lines? Oh, of course. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you go through that stage. You go through. You got any favorites? Best. You got any favorites that you remember? Uh, I can't. I can't tell the world. I can't, can't tell the world. Off the top of your head? Either, but I know personally. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so what? Would you like used to um write to like beats or like were you like acapella back then? Um... When, when shit be realer, it start off with just that one acapella line. Mm -hmm. That thought. That yeah. Whole song. I feel you. I like feel you. That mold, it was just one line mm -hmm. that started creating the whole song. It's always like that. But I could, mostly, I like to, you know, be off beats if I'm just chilling, vibing. But it always was written down first. Just. No, I say that. I say that. Were you kind of like writing full songs out or kind of were you just like writing a quick verse a little this I was or that shit, not finishing it i was like a what do you call it a verse keeper verse keeper you know okay like, you mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna put mm -hmm. this here Nah, I feel that I have like a universal verse that you just use for every beat. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there. I remember them days. What age would you say you kind of like completed your first song fully? Mm, um, I would say like I know I did a song before I dropped that um that Gunner remix. Mm. I forgot which song that was. Mm. But that was probably the first song I completed and recorded. Mm. You feel me? So. Yeah, I would definitely. Do that. So, what was like the motive? Said which age? I would say sixteen. Sixteen, sixteen. So, what was like the motivation, like making sure that song was finished versus any other song? Um, I don't know. I was just determined to determined. show people, especially like my surroundings. People in school, they used to. I used to be in hallways just rapping and shit and just trying to battle niggas and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you was battling niggas? It wasn't battles because it was nobody to compete with. Mm, okay, I heard you, heard you. I was just in the halls rapping and shit, just battling well, out my own world. But what school you went to? I went to Soda. Soda? Heard you, heard you. But not for music. Though. Okay, I was gonna say, what's the major? What was your major? I went for dancing, like ballet, modern. Okay, okay. Okay, say that. <laughs> Uh -huh. You ever thought about like incorporating like dance into like your raps too? I do, but um, I kind of fell out of love for dancing. Fell out of love. It's like a it's a it's a personal thing. Dance is personal to me. I feel yeah. like dance is Ariana. Like, yeah. Dance isn't Almighty. Uh -huh. <laughs> you feel okay, me? okay. Maybe if I was shooting a music video though, like something mm. that was. With a deep meaning, you know. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, like, it'd be a fire, like, crossover, too. It would, yeah, it definitely would. So, do you do you feel like you have, like, multi personalities, like, different? E I would say so. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes I turn into a British woman. British, oh my gosh, she got <laughs> characters. Say that, say that, say that. You know, like how Melly got, um, what, what's that? Multiple personalities. Yeah. And it's fun to live like that. Who wants to be born? 
That word, word. So going back to that age of 16, like, you said, like, you had people around you surrounding, like, was it friends? Was it family that kind of, like, made you determined to, like, kind of, like, take it more serious or anything? Um, I feel as though my family didn't know about me rapping. Mm. They probably was, like, bystander seeing me. You know what I'm saying? They was around with the shit I was going through and I was talking about, but it was like they wasn't paying attention to it till I really started like dropping music on the internet. You know, like it was mainly my friends who knew that I could rap. Like my mom knew, but when I recorded like my first or second song, I'm like, Mom, I'm about to be a rapper. She's like, No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> like, you're not gonna be a rapper. Like, what are you talking about? You're gonna go to college, you gonna do that. I'm like, Excuse me. So mm -hmm. I had to prove her wrong. Yeah. That put me in my bag even more. I like, feel that. I feel like strange. That's what proved to me. Like that's what showed me strangers would support you before. Mm -hmm. else. Who would you say like was your biggest supporter starting out? Um. Or even now, who's your biggest supporter now? You say my mom is definitely. After I made um, her believe me, mm -hmm. she's like my biggest fan of all time. She know all my words and all that shit. But like before that, I had. Uh, I want me to say it was somebody. Uh, really supported me from the start but I had this one friend me and her fought all type of shit but um, <laughs> she was definitely like in my ear always telling me like all right you gonna be something be like you could really rap you gonna be something because me Perko her went to school together she used to be like Perko before Perko even started rapping before he started recording mm -hmm. she was like yeah y'all gonna be something y'all gonna be something big all right you gotta start rapping more you gotta start recording she was in my ear mainly you get what I'm saying like mm -hmm. oh you know you gotta just trying to push me for real so I'm like damn let me try to you know it was just that one friend. It was really nobody else. Was okay. Really nobody. I respect that. That's how a lot of times it start out. So so what was the turning point for, like, your mom that you feel like she was like, okay, now I'm a believer? Um, I think it was when, I don't know what it was for her. I want to ask her personally. It's like, I don't know. I think it was after that first song. After she seen me getting consistent, mm -hmm. she started hearing me in my room. Mm -hmm. Loud up at like four or five in the morning, just right. Yeah. There. You feel me? She started to see I was like dedicated, and so I think that's what helped her believe in that. Like I was passionate about it. And, like, yeah. My mom never not supported me with anything. So like mm -hmm. her trying to deny it and just was like redirect me. It was like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Let me show you something right. But, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like not too much on me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel as though she understood over time that that music was like destined for me. No, I respect that. Was it the? first song that you finished or was it like a song that you were like okay i'm about to release i'm about to yeah i feel like when i started releasing stuff that's what even my family like my cousins and shit i feel like they just now take me serious mm -hmm. with, the, with the music shit so what song did you release first um maybe a woman because i don't even know no you're good because it was honestly a gunner song, and it was like at least three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, too, like, what was your first rap name, or did you only stick with one? What was the story with that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the song, the first song I dropped was called Glow Again. Glow Again. And it was a gunner remix. I just know the fucking name. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. But my first, the name I started off with was um, Ari Glow Band. Okay. You know, and it was just a uh, glow bands, glow bands, glow bands. It was just a little era at the time. Mm -hmm. But like, slowly but gradually, I changed it to, I shortened it actually. Like the end of high school, I shortened it to like Ari Glow B. Mm -hmm. That was like my end of high school era. You know how certain stages in you just got like eras and it's just like, the mm -hmm. names got certain, that's what was going on. But after I graduated, I started like, oh, big glow baby. It was literally probably like a few months before Glow really came out. Mm. I, was like, I was like, I'm Big Glow Baby, I'm Big Glow Baby, I'm mm. Big Glow Baby. Like, I was jacking that. Like, that's yeah. what, that was going to be the name I'm trying to have on billboards and shit. Big yeah. Glow Baby and shit. But you know that uh, the F and F shit came out. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, I, I'm not no hater. So I'm like, I'm happy for it. So I'm just mm. like, that just mean I got, that was redirecting me. Mm. You feel me? Like, I didn't see it as no, oh, fuck that bitch. I'm the biggest, I'm the biggest mm. I'm the I mean, we do got like five different babies. We, we, we that do. We yeah, we do. But I don't even want to be compared. I, don't want I feel to be you. In the same bracket, I'm in, I'm mm. my own lane. I want to be under my own category. So I don't want bitches saying, "Oh yeah, big little, big little baby." Mm. Like, were, it's cool, but were there any other females you were look, listening to before Glorilla came out? Um. Yeah, I'm like an underground listen, music listener. Mm -hmm. like, I don't really listen to mainstream artists like. I listen to SoundCloud music, mm -hmm. like Baby Eddie Sosa and BK The Ruler and okay. uh, 
what's her name? I think it girl, something like that. Baby Osama, Duel Kane, and all them like underground type shits. So I mean, I've been tapped out. I actually listen. What is it? Uh, uh what's that one song? I be listening. Mm. Movies, believe it or not, but uh, no, I don't think so. Have you started like networking in the female music market? Um, yes, I actually did a feature with four other girls, I believe. Oh, okay. I did a Shabuya remix. Shabuya. With India Lee, Polo, Magic, and Ken. Okay, that's fire. That's fire. Oh, and actually, it was other people to um, that impacted the music industry for me because I forgot about Asian Doll, mm. Cuban Doll, Molly mm. Crazy. That era. Yeah. If you wasn't, if you wasn't mm. tapping around that era, you was not living. And I remember putting all my friends, my homegirls on. Like, bump this song, put this here, put mm. this, go hear it. So, like, girls like Asian Doll that got, like, strong fan bases, or even, like, Nicki Minaj, too, how do you feel about, like, women having, like, their own type of support like that? Like I them feel like it's very important because, especially as women, to see us stick together, I can't, like, I can't downplay it. I can't, I can't, like promote for the next female to hate the next female because mm. like, men already hate females enough whether they show it or not he might be like oh yeah she fire she fine but he might disrespect her in a way you get what i'm saying mm. so it's like women support another woman that's what we need right now like we don't need to see no no other shit i don't want to see that i respect that what's like the hardest thing about being like a female in like the music industry um I'm glad you asked because um, people don't speak on it. Mostly, most girls don't really speak on it, but it's like working with other people, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. and I'm not just saying other people, men in sp specifically, like, especially when you got a cute look to you or, you know, you got a nice sex appeal or you just, you period. Niggas just get caught up in a fantasy thought of mm -hmm. y'all gonna be Ike and Tina. Summer Walker and I can see those crazy yeah, you just get the, oh we can get we can do this mm -hmm. slow down buddy mm -hmm. just get roll you know let's go let's go walk the trail or something like it'd be hard being a female artist because I'm telling you you never know what people's intentions are mm -hmm. so that's why when it comes to me doing features I don't got too many like you got to be around me mm -hmm. you got to have been around me and we had that type of era we had to go through a phase like you got to be around me and go through a phase in order to even get close to me for real. Like, I don't just chill with him. That's why. Because no. he would be weird. I respect that. I respect that. Fight. No matter if he say he got 500 for the future, 1,000 for the future, he want to do so much. And see, I don't miss, mm. I don't miss business with pleasure. I'm about to say, like, how many times have, like, or how often have that, like, came across when you try to work with somebody or somebody try to reach out to you? Like, is it, like, a common thing, or is it, like, oh, it's common? That's just, it is what it is. Like, mm. I mean, not probably not everybody want to bang me. Yeah. But, um, I mean, shit, you gonna slit up hard with some shit, and, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, if it's not, I'm, and plus, I'm, like, a, I'm really one of the bros. When I'm with yeah. the bros, I'm really one of the bros. Like, we talk about bitches the same. Like, yeah. my mentality's like a boy. Uh -huh. My girl wants some tomboy shit, so, like, when I'm with the bros, I don't be on no... You get what I'm saying? But I don't think when I come around other men, they expect me to be how masculine I am. Yeah. And also, I notice, like, I'm trying to balance out my feminality. So I notice, like, the masculinity I carry, niggas like it in a way. It's weird. Okay. It's, it's, it's a thing. And um, I just try to stay. So you said, like, niggas, like, slide up and everything, heart something. What's, like, some giveaways? Like, what's some game you could give out to some other female artists that, like, okay, you see that... I went and do the link up. If somebody want to work with you, if they approach you to work with you, but they don't want to pay for you, like mm. you might want to invest in you. How you want to do business with me? You don't want to invest in me. I don't give a fuck. Mm. We're in the same town. What the fuck? We in mm. the same concert. We in the same fucking <laughs> <laughs> universe. She said. So we bring the same air. We breathe in the same exact air, regardless uh. of what it is. My talent. You know, you see my potential. You see my talent. If you want it. So you gotta do something to get it. If you wanna be my friend, you can be like, can we be friends? You was mm -hmm. better off doing that and then yeah. eventually getting a feature with me mm -hmm. than trying to, oh yeah, we gotta work. We gotta lock in. What mm -hmm. you mean 200? What you mean 300 for a feature? What you mean 350, sis? Mm -hmm. What you mean? Cause they got a little name too. I don't give a fuck about your name. Yeah, if you wanna work with me, you wanna work with me. What the fuck? Today's price ain't yesterday's price and yesterday's price not today's price. No, I respect Just that. you up now don't mean I won't be up later. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? People don't be thinking about that. Like, 
And then you want to make a song for what? Just to say we got a song and keep it in the cut. So for when I blow, you could back it out. People is just weird. Niggas be doing little small investments like that. Weird, I'm not doing music with somebody who I know not dropping a song as soon as we record it. Mm. Like, or I know if I don't know the plan for the song. Nah, I feel you. Like, would you if you do a feature? Do you plan on like kind of doing the video too? Oh, no, I wouldn't mind. I would love that. I would do. I'm about to. After I get a little extra consistent, I want to start doing more features. And, you know what I'm saying? Doing like oh five hundred video and fucking two verses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just to show my consideration, especially to the town, because I feel as though. I'm versatile. Yeah. I feel you. So when you want to work with somebody, what are like some things you're looking for in like a featuring artist? Um, versatility most definitely, but I'm looking for authenticity mm -hmm. also because people, people don't be authentic. People like to come around in jack flows, which is fine. See, mm -hmm. personally, I could do a Milwaukee. Can, can you not do the gum, the gum, the chewing? Oh. Uh, Cause I'm still going uh, I know. <laughs> 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 My bad about that. Oh, he's straight. Mm -hmm. But um, it's mainly about authenticity with me because people come around and they, they don't really. That's not really who. Like even though I have like five other personalities, this is really who I am. Like mm -hmm. I've been this person for years. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just notice people don't. They not themselves. So we keep hearing about these personalities. Can we can we like get names for them? Can you describe some of them? Like who who are Ari? Like how many Ari's are there? It's a few. I'd hate to expose how many of her there are. Nice there's, there's more than two. Um, I say three because I'm the biggest three. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's a it's a reserve me. Reserve. It's a wild me. Wild you. And it's a it's a rap me. Rap you. I'm mostly reserved though. I feel as though. Okay, so when do we, so we know when we see like the rap you and everything. When do we see like the wow you? My friends would probably say wow. wow you. Heard you. Heard you. I'll be having little burst out scream spasms. I just gotta uh -huh. just cry or just shit. Take a run. Take a job. Just because. You know, it's like it's a while. Are they always like in public or they're like private? You never know. Never know. You never know. That's uh, the wild part. You never know. Heard you. Heard you. What what causes like a a wild moment? Um, if I let my anxiety get the best of me, I might. Mm. Take I, I build so much shit up. Like a lot of people tell me, "Oh, you so nonchalant," or do, do, do. I don't try to be. It's just that like I don't give a fuck when people want me to give a fuck. Yeah. You know, I might give a fuck about it later, just not right now. Yeah. So. So, as an artist, when you're in your downtime, what do you do for fun? I be working, I ain't gonna lie. Be working? I'm not working, I'm painting. Painting? Paint. What do you paint? Um, I do canvases here and there, but I mainly customize clothes. Customize clothes. Oh, yeah, I remember us talking about, like, the fashion that you do. Mm -hmm. So, I think on your best interview, you talked about, like, you designing your first pair of, what was it, jeans, or was it... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can we hear a little bit about that? How did you start getting to designer? Um, I didn't even know I could draw or design or paint. Mm -hmm. I still don't be thinking it's me that do that. That's yeah. a whole different art. Because uh -huh. when my mind goes, that's just like a completely calm, calm person. When I paint, it's like my mind still. But, uh, yeah, the painting just came out of nowhere. I was just broke as a bitch. I just did that. The first day of school, I was here. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> it was just that simple. Like, it was, and then God created a hustle out of it, and then I, yeah. No, I hear that, I hear that. What was, like, your favorite thing that you ever made? I have a lot of favorite pieces. I surprise myself every time. We should have had you bring some, too. Shut up, Dash. Shut up. Every time I wear something, I fold it up and I never wear it again. Mm -hmm. I got it all, like, in this little box. Sacked up. Heard you. So, what were you, like, just saving it to, just to keep? Or are you doing it to, like, kind of, like, I don't know, maybe, like, one day give back to your fans or something like that? Yeah, do something like that? that That'd be some fire, like, that, merch down the line. I, oh, my God. Them bitches going to be, like, 20 bands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially when you do, like, a big show or something like that. You just, like, yo, who who been here since day one type of vibes? Have you done any shows? I have. I did a handful of shows. Handful of shows. Yeah. I plan on, I want to get, like, out of the town more and mm -hmm. start venturing off. And so, tell me about your first show ever. How did that go? My first show ever. 
first show ever was a fucking movie. It was a movie? It was experience. It was, I was grateful for the love the crowd showed me. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was like I was a superstar. That's how I knew in that moment. I'm like, yeah, I'm in for this shit. Yeah. Yeah, this shit me. This shit five. I got done performing and shit. People running up to me. Kids running up to me. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Like, you're so fire. Like, mm-hmm. so. I'm like, wait, I don't know what you mean. Like, but yeah, it was a purple, um, graduation party. Yeah, I believe so. Heard you, heard you. Yeah. So when was like the next time like you performed? Like how wh- how long was it till the next time you end up performing? You think? It was a long while. It's a long, long while. while. Matter, of, matter of fact, I'm like I had a show like two months after that. I mm-hmm. had a show, but it was like outside and like this big backspace type shit. Mm-hmm. Crazy, but it was a show, so it was a show. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Do you have people that come out and show out for you? Of course, yeah. My mom, she definitely mm-hmm. out for me. The bros be popping off for me. I got some day one. Heard you. I feel that. That's good. That's good. What's like your favorite show ever? Like, what was your like? You know, like, man, if I could relive that show, that was it. I fucking love Martin. Martin? You said show. Oh, I'm thinking about. Oh my God, I'm high. You talking about show? Yeah. Actual show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you. We get into that afterwards too. Martin. I want to watch Martin right now. Heard you. But no, my favorite show probably had to be the first. One. The first one. The first one was too mm-hmm. lit. Uh, the Swanko Brothers was up there jumping and shit. Mm-hmm. They had the vibe set too. It was everything. Okay. So I now want to talk. Like, what was that like first song that kind of like the town was like? Okay, she she rapping like she she out here. She's somebody that we should be considering. Oh, I think what song was that? I was like, I That's chosen one. But the first one, what song was that one? I know that A shot it, but um, yeah, that was on my birthday too. Song that? I, don't know, but I felt like the town recognized me with that first song that he shot. Like, mm-hmm. like, okay, hold on, who is this girl? Like, you feel me? They 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 seen me, but they didn't really pay attention. Yeah. You know I feel like recently they started like, oh, okay, hold on, like she keeping up. Like it's been a yeah. while. I've been keeping up for like I don't be applying pressure or even trying. It just mm-hmm. like, so. Would you say you get like more views on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Instagram? That's really like where you get like your most support. That's for like the motion after. The motion? Yeah, I'm not really like a. I won't say I'm not a Facebook girly. I might share some shit. Mm-hmm. You know, but I only keep Facebook due to like my business. Like your business. Like, I don't do it as consistent, but mm-hmm. I know like if anybody want to contact me, just maybe off here. Okay. If anybody. Got some shit to say, they probably gonna like show up. But Instagram is where it's like more bougie. It's like the law. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I feel that. I don't know. When I posted, um, when I posted the first video to in that mode, I think like first day or second day it was like 10k views. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh well, shit, damn. Okay. But then it then it got like 400, 400 almost 500 likes. But then my views on my on YouTube was like. 150, 200. Mm. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is happening? Something's not right. Like, yeah. I, and then, like, the way I'm sharing and trying to, like, direct them to the way. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, but Instagram's mainly where it's... I try to venture off onto TikTok, but TikTok is such a tricky game. It is. It, it's so trendy. There's something to it that's, like, it's an algorithm to it that you got mm. in order to really be viral. Now, I want to talk about um that point that you said, like, with YouTube, like, the views are low, lower, but on Instagram. Do you feel like... It's just like platforms are platforms at this at this point. Cause like if you're if you put the whole music video on Instagram and you got it on YouTube too, and it does way better on Instagram, ten thousand people still saw your video. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's the point. Like regardless of it, don't matter how many. What's it called? That's what I'm trying to tell myself. Like views don't matter, likes don't matter. Yeah. Views do matter. But the likes don't matter. Yeah. It don't. Yeah, attention. You know what I'm saying? If if you could see who, how many numbers, regardless of. 10K is probably just one person mm. watching it 10 times. There's some niggas that watch and still buy tickets, but they don't hit like. And I feel like I'm, I'm one of the niggas. For real. I might scroll, scroll and see something, mm-hmm. every single picture zoom in, yeah. You know? It take me a lot to like it that though. These days, I'm <laughs> picky. 
Mm -hmm. So the guy treated like I pay for it. Like niggas paying for it. It be like that though. I ain't gonna lie. For real, like uh, you ain't even supporting like how you. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I treat Instagram story like it's its own separate app, sort of guy, because the engagement could be literally the same. People could like it, people could fake comment. Mm -hmm. The only thing is people can't, other people see it, but I feel like people more truer yeah. there. And I also, with Instagram, you can see who see your shit. Like, mm -hmm. the only way you can't is if they got an anonymous app, but, like, you can see who see your shit. Yeah. Like, on Facebook, you know, people could watch it and... You can know who is, who, who's not. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm -hmm. you don't know who in your life. How the fuck? Who, why wouldn't I want to know who in my life? I think you can check that. You could, but. You can't see life, they not. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing joined the life. Oh, yeah. Outside. Mm. Instagram, ain't no watching from outside, but you know that you ain't. Nah, seriously. I've been trying, like, to do, like, different apps. You ever heard of, like, Discord? Discord. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to get people on there low key because like it feel like its own app, its own community. You ever heard of like Reddit? Yeah. yeah, Reddit too. It's like one of them apps where like Beagle. I heard of that, but I can't get in tune with it. It's too. It felt too much like Chinese, like not Chinese, but like TikTok and everything. So it's like mm. mad and Yeah. Oh, is that is that the one where it's like a bunch of people are live at the same time? Yeah. That just remind me of Clubhouse. This is obnoxious. Thank you. Yeah. I'm about to mention Clubhouse, like, I can't, it's not even hitting the same no more. Like, I'm going to say, how you felt about Clubhouse that era? Rochester had an era on Clubhouse, I felt like. They did. Them niggas went crazy. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Niggas was outside on their phone on Clubhouse. Look, Clubhouse personally is now oversaturated. Mm -hmm. It's not what it used to be. I was on that one. First when Clubhouse first got approached to Rochester, I was on that bitch. Every night freestyling, bro. Every night freestyling. Like, mm. <laughs> until I had cotton mouth. Uh -huh. I'm that bitch going chat to chat. I'm in Chicago chat. Yeah. I'm in chats in motherfucking uh, New England. I'm just everywhere trying mm. to tap in with motherfuckers. I really grinded and got like, how much? How many followers? 5.1K. My first account had 5.1K followers. I feel like it was like a truer audience, too on there because like people could hear you people could engage bad they wasn't fucking with what you said don't let a nigga be a mod them niggas would be on their deck you remember that early phase like niggas was barely getting approved it be that one nigga that was mod and now he getting all <laughs> shit is crazy no for real not seriously so i want to get into like your, your biggest hit so far at least to me it's in that mode and i want to know kind of what was like the inspiration behind that what how were you in your mode when you <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, uh -huh. bitch don't make me mad I don't even mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of when I where I was when I made that I don't think I was at work just sitting down on the overnight and I probably had like one live and I was like bitch don't make me mad I get in that mode uh -huh. Talking about shit. You had I should remain silent and you still told. Like yeah. I'm like, then I kept told my jewel I won't go. My diamond still froze. Yeah. I, it was uncontrollable, but I don't know who that was. I'm telling you, like, you got the lines in there, like, um, damn, you said locked in my bag, I like still told oh, what was it? Oh yeah, I'm still with myself. I like still toes. That shit was that, tough. I don't even know what that was. Mm -hmm. I'm like still toes. I'm just thinking the boots were still in the front. Mm -hmm. I'm like, now nah, that was fire. I was rocking with that. Bitch, I'm full of focus. That Chanel Poochie. Purses. Premature cursive. A few acres I just purchased. Nah, word. What's your favorite line in there? I ain't gonna lie, the whole shit. The whole shit? The whole shit fake eating. I, like what we was talking about on the live when you said that it kind of died. Down. Yeah, can we talk I about that? that? Can we talk, talk about that? You made me mad. I know what you're talking about because mm -hmm. I, I felt it in the moment. Like, even mm -hmm. my man. Like the song's so hard, it's like it's gonna get ran back anyway. Uh huh. Not, it's not a, it's not too bad. Of a, you know, I'm like fuck it, I don't care. Now I'm not gonna lie. The first time I heard it, I passed on it because I seen it on Instagram, shared on somebody's IG. But it was one of them songs like after the second time I heard it, because like I would catch a line and then I'd just keep going back for line for line for, and it it just became like one of those things. So it ended up getting like addicted to learning. Like what was like some of the feedback you got on the song? 
Speak on that. Like, yeah. Do you really think I got to write my lyrics like ever in my life? Ever? Do you think I would be a rapper? No. No shade to the people who, who have their lyrics wrote because mm-hmm. you know it's a lot of high end. I mean, so, sooner or later your brain run out of shit to talk about. But, yeah. Um, I write all my own shit. All that shit comes to me effortlessly. Like it's not nothing I force. It just be like. Uh, 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 mm. uh, uh, it, it's just. Now I hear you. Would you ever write for somebody? I plan on it. You plan on it. On. That make bruh. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I would rather like if I get into the music industry and I get up and then I get famous for a while. You know how Dave Lopez and go. Sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta get up and get famous for a while. You know how Dave Lopez and go. I might pull one of those stunts, get the bright music for motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Like Missy Elliott shit. No, seriously. I wanna stay. I don't really wanna be in the spotlight. Like I enjoy getting cute and shit, but I don't want people in my business. So I wanna know, like, a rapper that I like, Lil Yachty, he writes for. Guys, the city girls, would you write for male and females? Yeah. I'm just now starting to, I wouldn't say just now. I'm just like really venturing off into talking into third person, kind mm-hmm. of, or you get what I'm saying? Like, because when I used to rap, I used to try to make habit relate to men. Yeah. I try to, oh, y'all fucking bitch on, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But then it's like, hell no, nah, this nigga ain't my ass. Nah, I heard you. <laughs> so then I'm like, fuck that. I started making a little bit more versatile. And, yeah, feel me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't mind. I want to make some oldies type music. Like. Some oldies? You ever thought about working like with samples? Oh yeah, I've done samples before. Definitely. What's a song you would sample? Like just an oldie song that you like? You know, I, if I could figure out a way to make it work, I I just like the song. I would sample this. I would definitely do like to keep you satisfied. By to Marvin. keep you satisfied. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know that specific song, but who don't know Marvin Gaye? That nigga from here. What's like your favorite old school artist? Um, uh, I don't try to not say artist. Who's that other guy? <laughs> I don't know. My girl used to both of them know. Oh, what is this one lady? I don't feel like mm-hmm. I'm on my phone. I was dead about to look through my shirt real quick oh, while you was talking. Go. Mm-hmm. Oh, my phone. I'm a James, like James Brown type of guy too. Yeah, I'm. Mm. James. The big payback. <laughs> nah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> You're crazy. You broke. You're broke. <laughs> <You're both laughs> <crazy. laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. Mm. Nah, that's the only era too. Like I could dance in, cause like it's just two stepping. Like I can't. I'm not. I hate hearing that music at mm-hmm. cookouts. You know the cookout by then when they get to playing oldies. Mm-hmm. You're like old school at the cookout. What? I used to hate it. But now I love it. I love it. Oh, I was going to say. I'm going to get my play. I'm going to get my yeah. play. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh-huh. I, I was about to start going. I ain't going <laughs> to It's Friday. <laughs> yes, it is. Mm-hmm. For, <laughs> nah, that's when you know it's solidified right there. Mm-hmm. Hit about 7 o'clock. That's when. Oh, yeah. It's time to wrap it up. Get your plate. Seriously, you play any like cookout games? I was never caught, taught spades. I don't know if you. Never taught. Mm-hmm. Maybe with some Uno cards. And they don't understand. <laughs> like they need to grow up out of that spade. For real. Because they be really about ready to fight. About that they shit. that that, like that generation really took that to the grave with them. Like they. That's they about. Be overdoing it. Mm-hmm. Uno and Tunk. That's the only two I'll do. Yeah, Tunk. Yeah. You play Tunk. I ain't like that look you had game when you said that. I don't really remember how to play it, so I ain't mm-hmm. jacket. Not for you. But I've played Tuck before. Are you are you just black or are you I felt like you are you, like what do you mix for it? Um, well, my father's Creole. Creole, heard you. My heard you, heard you. I heard you. my father when I was sixteen years old. Uh-huh. So it's like I don't really know too much. Yeah. I know enough. And my mother, um, I believe my room is my grandma's black and Cherokee Indian, and she's from Alabama. My mother is was born here, and I believe she's black. Heard you, heard you, heard you, because. I'm black and Jamaican, but like all we played at our cookouts is tunk. They play dominoes and spades. I still don't know how to play dominoes. Like I don't know how to. I'm not into that. I'm not into that either. And push them down. Mm-hmm. But I ain't really into the domino 
was playing. What board games would you play? Like, what's um, what's your starting five? I was like a, uh, what you call that shit? You know that shit with the little button in the middle? Little shit you uh, Trouble? Trouble. I was in a Trouble Connect 4. Candyland. Mm -hmm. Candyland. Um, oh, nah. Other one game, I really, really liked it. I forgot. Connect 4. I said that one. Are you done? Um, damn. Another colorful one. You talking about with the... Sorry? Sorry. I was talking about Sorry at first. You was? I couldn't get into Sorry. I... <laughs> nah, that though. I was Monopoly, but that take way too long. Yeah, I was never into Monopoly. Like, now you see the little app shit that came on, everybody playing it. I can't get into it. I mm -hmm. see you in the chats today. What's First off, I got that game. I ended up deleting it, cause it, it don't hit the same. Bro, when I downloaded it, bro's like, download it, we about to play right now. I downloaded mm -hmm. it, I'm high as a bitch. I'm like, why the fuck is this shit so bright? And mm -hmm. I just uninstalled it. I was like, this shit too bright. Nah, seriously. Too much going on on the phone. You know how they got this little old screen, mash, mad lag. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, this shit is fucking annoying. Yeah. Do you play games on your phone? See, me either, but, like, I still feel like there's people out there that do. I, I will lie. Only in the winter time I will consistently play Candy Crush. Candy Crush? I can't get into Candy Crush. Well, I, no, I ain't gonna lie. I was into Candy Crush, like, I can't think of what world and all that type of shit, but that was my shot. Candy Crush had an era. It does. It, it does. Subway Surfer, too. I, I play for hours straight. <laughs> Angry oh, Birds, too. Shit. <laughs> Shit, I sometimes cheat, go two hands. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looking like an orchestra. <laughs> nah, that was my shit. That was that era. Did you ever play? I think like the last game like everybody was on, I was like, all right, let me play two, was the Among Us shit. It was like, it would be dark, and they had like, I know you've seen Among Us. It's like, it's on the phone, everybody multiplayer. I'm mad, I'm mad I'm doing a horrible job explaining it. This one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You forgot that shit? Mm -hmm. That was college. Um, I graduated 2020. That was college. That would have been like college years. I mean, that would have been like. COVID season? Yeah, COVID season. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. But mm -hmm. no, I was, I was it high school? That worm game was playing like the end of uh -huh. school. Like when you eat more worms, you get turns bigger. Oh, snake that. dot io or that type of shit. I, don't think I, was into that I wasn't into that. I was kind of into. I was in a Pokemon Go. I was, tch, grabbed the bike. Oh, oh, you was you was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Water on the side of the back. Had, out here that was had me sweating. <laughs> Linking up for battles. What was it, Mario or was it Pokemon? It was Pokemon. Oh, wow. See, I was never what would they capture in Mario? I it was the mushroom niggas? The little mushroom niggas? <laughs> you know, Mario got a game. Cut it off. Stop. Mario. <laughs> Mario got a game. Cut it off. Stop. Nah, they don't. <laughs> Mario got mad games. He do. You ever, you ever play like. Smash Bros. Oh, that's that that that, that's <laughs> that was, was crazy. Was that, was crazy. that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Yo, moving on. Yo, Mario, sixty four. That was the yeah. Yeah. Uh, damn. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, bro, that just goes to show how ruined my mind. I'm like, who? <laughs> I'm like, Mario House Party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Jenkins, I said, who? <laughs> Roscoe? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Nah. What's your favorite TV show? For real? Movie? Friday. Friday. The Christmas one? After next. That that's the best one? Be my favorite one. Friday after next. The second one slept on, bro. bro that's cute. Yeah. Second one's fair. The Spanish niggas. That's yo. That's all I gotta say. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> niggas. That was the third one though, wasn't it? No, after next was the Friday. After next. Friday. 
Yeah, that's Friday, Friday after Next Friday. It was next Friday or Friday after. Friday, Friday after next. Okay, you right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Cause that's when we, he, he had with Uncle Elroy. Oh yeah. Fred. Yeah. Niggas don't even know they had a whole animated show. After that, yeah, I that. ended up seeing. I did mm-hmm. today and figured out that a lot of that shit was For real? fabrication. That ass. It wasn't even the same voice actors either. Mm-hmm. They did a really good job. Not either. What do you watch on like TV or what do you watch? What do you watch on your phone? I like, I'm a TikTok girl. TikTok, oh my God. When I first came out, I was so against it, but it's just like, it teaches me so much. Mm-hmm. I learn the most shit. It just, it's cool. I see people that look like, you know, my type of people. Mm-hmm. And plus, like, if I'm not on there, I might hop on YouTube, watch a Smash or Pass or Get Ready With Me or mm-hmm. Patient or I be watching Rap Battles or I might watch a GTA stream. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen them shits where it's like, I think his name like Deshay, he be flying out girls to like, so like niggas would do shit like how baddies do it where they like just have a bunch of girls and they go to different places. So it would be niggas, his name like Deshay, he'll fly out a bunch of um, models, girls that do OnlyFans, all this other shit. Now, he kind of like, to me, he kind of like a square kind of nigga that got rich and can still get... I've heard of his name, and I've seen him in videos, but yeah. it wasn't enough for me to tap in. Yeah. But that nigga's hilarious, because he brought... The two OnlyFans girls that he brought was, like, way more than that nigga can handle. And, like, two of his mans left. Like, imagine two girls being so freaky, you like... Oh, well, they was, too, they was so freaky. Yeah, like, they was shaking... It was so bad, like... Nah, nah, they was, like... They was, like, shaking eyes a bunch, and, uh, like, it was... He's little, though. Yeah, they was tall. He brought, he did bring some stallions. I ain't gonna lie. They was a good five. Also, I was talking to this guy. He was, he mentioned something about stallions. Like, why would I, I'm like, he like, oh, how tall are you? I told him how tall are you. He like, um, I was like, nothing's wrong with stallions. He's like, why would you want to be a stallion? And then he like, yeah, that's a female. I mean, like, a male horse. I'm just like, that was, so that was wild. Stop calling females stallions. But it sound nice. I don't know what else. It do sound fire. And then you. <laughs> Not tree. Tree is crazy. Shit, call my bitch a um. You know what? That was dark humor. I ain't gonna say that. Not say that. That's what that's what this channel's for. They they ain't the sunset over here. Like <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, heard you. Heard you. Heard you. Nah. If you had a, like a um, and we'll finish out with this question. So, if you had a fan base, what you gonna call them? My glow babies. The glow babies. Okay, that was too simple for you. Okay, we need one more. All right. Damn. What's a deep life question? The earth and the moon and the sun. We hit you with no scary shit. Some scary shit? What? What's that new question? Ask me something. I've never been asked nothing. Deep, scary. It's scary. I don't... I'm going to venture off. Like, what is one of your, like... I wouldn't say... Not a freaky fetish, but just like a fetish, period. A fetish? Getting this money. <laughs> Getting this check here. You feel me? If it ain't green. But nah, uh, fetishes like. I got an ear fetish. Ear fetish? I like wax. Like your own earwax? I get very happy when the Q-tip. Like you ever dig up in this crease right here? I go all over. I start outside going. <laughs> Hold on, outside? No, 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 like in here. Okay. People don't be getting this. Like, I want people to understand. They don't get in here, all that. You got to get all that, son. It's like, it's like, what you call, you know how some streets are, like, them mm-hmm. narrow streets. Yeah. Street in the air. You got to get, get them <laughs> She said you got to bend the block twice. I ain't going to lie. Yes. All right, and I need to know this, too. Pause. Do you wet the tub or do you <laughs> do you do you go dry first? Do you go dry first? Cause I having this debate with a bunch of friends in college before. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be a, a tip wetter. Pause. I used to be a tip wetter, bro. But now, bro, I can't be doing that because it's like damn spit in my ear. Mm. You know, like is you I mean, it with water or is you wetting it with your spit? Cause see, I'm just first off, you ain't gonna never get the right amount of. Paul's wetness on the tub. <laughs> bro, we got <laughs> with the water, bro. You never gonna get the right amount. You gonna get drunk. Yeah, and who? I ain't gonna lie, but lately, I go in. <laughs> Pause, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Q-tip dry. Like, I just cleaned mm. my ears before I came here. 
and I had two of them, but I had to go in dry because I feel like it just cleaned the residue different. The, the, the mm -hmm. wetness create gook and just, mm -hmm. you know? Sure, sometimes I got wet then dry. I just. <laughs> Yo, sorry. Yeah, right. Yo, so it's gonna be a lot of cutting in this. Sorry. Be a lot of cutting. Man, it's been your boy Big M B K J. It's been my girl Ari on here. Yo, check her music out. The biggest song, like, you got to on my Instagram, Ari Almighty, Spotify, Apple Music, Ari Almighty, Facebook, Ari Almighty.